Trent, where you got you, man. yourself after, oh. that, uh, after that dropped INT? Yeah, man, that was probably the easiest interception I ever dropped in my life. Probably will be the easiest, but, you know, I've got some stuff to work on, but I can promise it won't happen again. <laughs> will will, will, will uh, Coach Bush talk about it in practice? Probably so. You know, that's a, that's a, a big one of his um, – just points that he makes every practice is drop interceptions. I'm sure y'all know, but um, you know he always makes that a key point in uh, teaching us just you know keep on holding on to the ball. Yeah, he's like a jug machine when something like that happens. Uh, we usually, I mean, the new thing Coach Bush brought was the broom. I know y'all heard about the broom, and uh, it's just throwing the ball up, using the broom to act like an offensive guy who turns into a defender, just so that we just make sure we squeeze the ball. So how do you feel about the overall, you know, defense performance? You had a 30-point 30, 30 lead going in the third quarter, so yeah. you were – fourth quarter. So you were rolling, and then they kind of start hitting some – chunking some things up right. and hitting them up. Huh? Right. Uh, a big thing Coach Randall talks about is finishing the game, and I feel like we can do a better job of that. Um, we came out strong in the first half, but I feel like we can do a better job of finishing as a unit. Speaking of Coach Aranda, I mean, LSU, DBU, turnover mm -hmm. chain, does he like seeing that competition between the two defenses? Or does he like seeing y'all kind of getting a little chippy? Yeah, yeah, I think so. But at the same time, he likes execution and executing and uh, finishing and stuff like that. So I think everybody likes that. But I feel like our overall success as a defense is more important. So the turnover towel, is that what you guys went with? <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't have any, I didn't have any knowledge of that. But um, I think it was just hyped up in the moment. But no, nah, we didn't. We didn't think about that before the game. <laughs> a lot of guys playing in the secondary. Just overall, uh, your assessment of just mm -hmm. you know the, the secondary's performance and, and just being able to rotate as many guys as you guys were able to. Right. I think that's a um, that's a very big factor that we have in this year. We have a lot of bodies and uh, a lot of not a lot of new guys, but just a lot of guys coming back. So I feel like we have more depth, and uh, that enables us to rotate more as well. So that's definitely a good thing. The um, AP poll results just got released. You guys jumped to number 11. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on that big jump? I feel like that's great, but I feel like we can't pay attention to that too much because, you know, this is Southeastern. We can't uh, play down to love our opponent. I feel like we got to go out the same, um, with the same intensity every week. So that's nice and all, but, you know, I don't really pay attention to that. You were hurt in the spring game. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of a, a bummer to have to try to bounce back from that and get all the way back? And, and how did that go? Uh, you know, it was a bummer at the moment, but, you know, I got over it pretty quick thanks to the docs and uh, the surgery went well and um, just I'm back to 100 now. Coach said you guys uh, missed a couple of sacks mm -hmm. that you should have. But right. I guess how, how do you approach that? Well, what's the difference between sacking the guy and then not, not recording? You're saying that I missed a couple of sacks? No, just as oh. a team. Oh, okay, yeah. That's, sack is definitely a big play. I think I, I could have got to one on the screen, but... Um, you know, that's definitely a big play. We got to make capitalize on every big play that we can make. Me, myself, I got to start with interception. I, you know, I've said I'd probably drop the easiest pick of my life. But, yeah, sacks are big plays too. Did you like coming down, kind of playing in the box a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Like, I just play whatever coach tells me to play at, man. You blessed a lot in the game, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many mm -hmm. times do you think you went after the quarterback? Yeah. I couldn't even tell you. Probably maybe about six or seven times. Mm -hmm. Blitzing off the edge, that's just the new thing that we added in our uh, defense this year, so um, it's a it's a good it's a good scheme. <laughs> Talk about the news of losing Caleb on for the year. What what what's yeah. the mood of the team and the uh, guys you've talked to since the news got out? Yeah, Caleb on is a great player, man. You know he had a great game on on Sunday, and it it sucks to lose him, but you know we gotta move on and um you know somebody else to step up. That's another thing. We have a lot of depth at the linebacker position too. So I feel like um, we shouldn't, you know, keep pounding. We shouldn't uh, miss a step. What are you most excited about this week getting back to Tiger Stadium? Oh, I'm excited for Tiger Walk, uh, just getting back, interacting with our fans, um, and, of course, getting this win. That's all that matters. Joe Burrow, he's a yeah. different different guy, a little different. different. Yeah, he's different because he has my number. I think it's the number nine thing. I think that's why he uh, plays so good. But, yeah, he's a, he's a great kid, great quarterback, and um, I was excited to see him play. He was out in the middle of that pregame thing you guys had, huh? I mean, is that kind of uh, him asserting himself that hey, I'm the quarterback, I'm the leader? Uh, I guess so. I didn't, I didn't see it, but um, yeah, I guess so. Just being involved with the team, I guess it is. Just, but we were, we were at the same time we were focused on the game. Does that shock you that he was out front like that? Uh, I don't know. What, you, what you've learned from him in the few months he's been here? Uh, not really, because Joe is a leader. You know, he's gonna be with the team. He's gonna uh, play behind us and come with us. So. I feel like, nah, I wasn't really surprised.
kind of listening to you know a lot of the reports, everybody was like, man, maybe Miami wasn't as good as mm -hmm. what everybody thought they were. How much of that could be that, or was it a product of just your guys' defense, you know, going out there and? Then I think I think everything is about us. So I think that our defense. I think we we were overlooked as a team. I feel like our defense went out and showed them, and our offense was overlooked as well. And so I feel like they showed uh, the people out there too that you know we're not nothing to play with. <laughs>